crypto community welcome to our weekly crypto news and market update video and this is what we're going to talk about today first of all we talk about that micro strategy got a downgrade as well as that winkel was saying the smartest people buying bitcoin we will lead over to that the next institutional wave will come and of course give a crypto market update as well as analysis of bitcoin and now let's see it over to the news so micro strategy some of you may know invested huge in bitcoin and now citibank downgrading their business intelligence for micro strategy stock to accelerating due to they invested so much money into cryptos while other analysts are saying this is a good scenario due to micro strategy is transforming into the new world into the new financial world and this is a dream for the future the old traditional banks are not that positive for this when we think this the company tripled from the years low from 92 dollars so this is quite a good year for micro strategy we can as well see that the investment they already did brought a plus of around 260 million us dollars and now they want to build up their investment to 1 billion so all in all this is quite a huge upgrade for micro strategy while the traditional banks and the traditional stock market is not that positive for this but all in all you know like all new stuff is trash talked so this is quite an interesting article and quite an interesting fact Tyler Finkelvoss may you know he and his brothers are the owner of the Gemini exchange he and his brothers are some very important people in the crypto industry um, they're calling them the first crypto billionaires and they saying due to their good network in the space that's the smartest people in the room buying the bitcoin quietly so they said this is the most sophisticated investor the smartest people in the room buying the bitcoin quietly so it's not a fomo so this is quite interesting 2017 we saw pure fomo of private investors running through the market and then lost everything but now it's based on something we think huge institutionals huge investors all around the globe coming especially into bitcoin driving the price that the shortage of bitcoin is real and so this is based on something this underlines the bullish view on the market and as well finger was said if you're seeing companies like square micro strategy putting the treasury cash into bitcoin that need to mean something so all in all this is really good for the market let's talk again about micro strategy and they will complete a next 650 million bond say to finance the next bitcoin purchase and when we can see over here is that they now sold um 650 million worth of convertible senior notes at the rate of 0.75 percent due in 2025 and the press release they said Marcus strategy intends to invest the net proceeds from the sale to the nodes in Bitcoin in accordance with its Treasury Reserve policy pending identification of working capital needs and other general corporate purposes. So on all what we can see that as well the CEO said the company was sitting on a 500 million melting ice cube of cash. What does he mean with it? They, he means that cash is nothing worse. You need cash flow you need investments and they think cryptos and especially bitcoin is the best thing to do bullish for the market they already owning more than forty thousand bitcoin and with this new money they can buy roughly around thirty six thousand new bitcoins if you take a look on the seven day performance of the top 10 token and the market capitalization we can see that the market capitalization dropped from 570 to 558 billion us dollars so we can see nearly a v recovery due to we saw huge sales in the first half of this week and then a bullish movement at the weekend but all in all if you take a look on the day performance 
the 2% loss is only because Bitcoin with this huge market dominance lost just around 1% with the V recovery while all the altcoins lost more as well here we can see Bitcoin is next to the stable coins the stablest one and is definitely always worth to keep an eye on and especially this we can see over here what we can see easily is that we build it a top at around um, 19,400 that as well was the top before the sell off around last week so what we can see over here is that after the market could not break these levels we saw sell off so this is for now a huge resistance and if i'm just giving you an idea about this v recovery we can see that we went down to this local support and then we rushed upwards so it's nearly a v and it's so to speak a v recovery the market built a support down here at 7 16,600 and then waved up huge so first of all we saw a sell-off with no possibilities of longs of around 9% and then the market just rose around 10% upwards so all in all nearly everything is bought back in Bitcoin but what we can see is and there you need to keep an eye on as we double top this region over here we saw the sell-offs right now as well the market can't rush through this level so we think as well nearly a new double top this could lead to sales if the support around 18,500 could hold or latest at around 18,000 this would be very bullish for the market the RSI is very neutral and what's very important to see is that we build it higher lows so this underlines the bullish view on the market due to our support before was around 16,500 over here and if i'm comparing this to the levels we are right now with our support levels we're having a seven percent higher support quite bullish for the market the bigger picture is still bullish investments in bitcoin are still risky due to the high levels so always use a stop loss but what we as well can see the last hours 19k held as a support line over here so the picture is bullish while short-term dips could always occur. I hope you liked this video. If you do so, I would love it if you would comment, like, or share this video. And we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by T-Rox.